Oh, there. Welcome back to a big world update today. As right now, we have um, Andre. We could back to a minute low. We have enhanced risk across enhanced risk of severe weather across Texas and a slight risk across the Carolinas. We'll be getting right into it, actually. So, anyways, right now we have enhanced risk across Texas, light risk across Texas, Louisiana, and North Carolina. There's a slight risk as well. Marginal risk across um, Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Mississippi, Louisiana. South Carolina and uh, North Carolina with 2% tornado, 30% significant hail, and 15% wind. But anyways, continuing on right now, we're looking at surface analysis right now. We're looking at across southern Texas, temperatures around in the 80s with um, dew points around in the mid to upper 70s. Um, especially around, the, I'd say around 70s. And um, yeah, pretty moist right now. So, look, looking at mixed layer CAPE right now, we're looking at around 3,000, maybe 4,500 joules per kilogram, quite high. Um, we're looking at a pretty strong CAPE. As, um, right now, we're looking at some, um, definitely a couple strong updrafts are pretty much likely with this. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, so moving on to this, as we're looking around across southern Texas, we're around 50 to 60 knot shear. Maybe even reaching 65 knots at around peak. So, yeah, this should be sufficient enough to uh, spark a couple supercells heading into um, the later tonight. Now, looking at effective layer helicity, <clears throat> we're looking at around 50 to 100 um, meters cubed per, per second um, cubed. As um, uh, maybe a couple pockets around 200 meters cubed per second cubed. It may be a also, just um, one small pocket at 300 meters cubed per second cubed. Yeah, um, pretty much that. But anyways, moving on to surface vorticity and 0 to 3 kilometer cape. And as of right now, um, we're looking at around, mm, around between 125 to like 25 joules per kilogram across eastern Texas. As we move on to southern Texas, we're looking to New Mexico. We're looking at around between 25 and 75 joules per kilogram. Kind of, mm, kind of enough as hol holographs are looking favorable for isolated tornadoes out tonight. So anyway, that's really it for today's video. Next week, we actually might be getting a couple weather in real life weather updates. Thunderstorms are multiple rounds of thunderstorms are possible around TGHQ. But really, apart from that, enhanced risk of severe weather tonight for Texas, southern Texas. And yeah, goodbye.